Good morning, class. I am your teacher, Lori Maitland, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Rest in Peace, Miss Cindy Bullens. Today in music class, we are going to talk about her voice type, soprano, and her vocal range. When she cut her first record of her own song, Your Survivor, back in 1978, her soprano vocal spans from C4 to D sharp 5. So let's take a listen. If you like the song, You're a Survivor, raise your hand. On the song, Trust Me, her soprano vocal spans from D4 to D5. So we'll get to that later. Years ago, she had an upper chest voice before the horrible surgery ruined her female gender and her female soprano and turned them all into ashes and that means that's years before the female gender of Cindy Bullens was declared dead. Since her regular soprano vocal from the early years already ranges probably from G3 to G5 here are those impossible whistle notes she wasn't supposed to reach. the head voice unusual high notes that she wasn't supposed to do.
for watching. So instead, she wanted to stay in her own regular register that she's more comfortable with. So let's hear her regular register now. We're going to leave you now with Trust Me, where she sings in the right range. Take care. I don't know, maybe she had it once. Lost him or her. It's probably a rotten childhood, doesn't, doesn't it always start there? Well, who hasn't? I'm sick and tired of making excuses for Raven. I don't know. I wonder whether I've been handling this whole thing wrong. What do you mean? Well, I wonder if I... If I wouldn't have been more of a help to Logan if I had changed my attitude towards Raven. You know, been more understanding, more patient. Let her be my friend. I don't think it would have done any good. Well, you know something? I'm going to make the attempt. April, it's a waste of time. The trial is too close, and Logan's position is, is too bad. Something has to be done. I'm going to try to see her. Try to... Talk to her like a person. Well, I'm sure Logan would appreciate that, but I think it's a lost cause. Well, I've got to try. I've got to try for Logan's sake. Heaven knows he's helped me so much. Yeah, he has. Mrs. Scott, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I just wanted to, to say that I'm so sorry I was late. Oh, uh, no, uh, that's, that's all right. How is Emily? Well, she's just the same. Oh. I'll just leave you two alone. What do you have to lose by a postponement? You have everything to gain if I decide not to fight for custody. You know, there are times when I wish I could read your mind. Right now, for instance, I'd sure like to know what's behind this little ploy. It is not a ploy. It is a perfectly legitimate request. I told you I've changed my mind, and I... I don't think I can handle Jamie anymore. I think it would be better off with his father. What's the matter? Don't you want him anymore? Of course I do. I thought you wanted him, too. You've been behaving to everybody as if he was the most important thing in your life. Oh, God knows why. Well, now that the trial is just a few days away, I, uh, I have a few doubts. Doubts? <laughs> Raven, one thing you've never had is doubts. You always know what you want. I wish that were true. Come on, what's up your sleeve, huh? You can tell me. What's behind all this? I need some more time. Time to do what and to whom? You drink this? Thank you. Look at me. Your lawyer know about this little request for a postponement? No, my lawyer does not. No, I came to you first. What's the matter? Why can't you trust me just a little bit? Because every time I trust you a little bit, it turns out to be a big mistake. Don't tell me you're in the mood for this custody trial because I won't believe it now that Draper has come back. Let's just stick to the subject of Jamie and the custody suit, shall we? Tell me something, Logan. Don't you think you would be a lot better off if you just went to, went to Draper and were honest with him about what happened between you and April? I mean, he might be upset at first, but eventually he would understand that she was a widow and she didn't know he was going to come back. I'll talk to you later about this postponement. I think I'd better give it a little thought. Alone. Who's been telling you these things? Don't you know it's the truth? You believe those crazy guys, they deceive you with their lies. They make you
I'm sorry. I just, uh... What's the matter? Uh, My sweet little princess have a nightmare? I keep seeing Orpheus. You're still worried about that bow? Yes, I am. I have never been so scared in my entire life. He is a maniac and he's after us. He's after you. Look, baby, you don't have anything to worry about. Now, didn't I prove to you that I can take care of myself? And you? I'll never forget what you did for me last night. I was in the mood for a swim anyway. But I also can't forget what we took from that boat. Those tattoos mean trouble. Four people have been killed because of them. I've seen how Orpheus works. He would think nothing of killing us two. I know where this is leading. Well, you said you wanted to sleep on it. You promised that you would think about giving Roman those And I kept my promise. I thought about and? it. And? I can't do it. Why not? Because the ISA cannot handle Orpheus. Well, please just trust Roman. I trusted Roman. What did it get us? You got kidnapped, didn't you? I'm going to handle those tattoos and Orpheus my own way. Steve, listen to me. You could die because of those tattoos. And Marlena could, too. You just have to trust Roman. Just give him the photos.